All right, get a high enough. Oh, that's nice and shiny. That is so slippy here. <laughs> and I got my crossbow today. Yeah. I wonder if I should have took the dust off of it before I brought it out. I don't use this thing nearly enough. I do have it up for a trade on my Facebook for a rifle with a stainless barrel or all weather rifle type of thing for a varmint rifle. I figured that'd be a better, better way for me to go. But I figured I'd take this out today because this is lighter and it is cold out here today. <laughs> you can see that. The <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I put out some wolf snares last night or the night before. No, last night, yesterday. Uh, in a, or baited it yesterday anyway. And I uh, was doing some research last night for some snares, stuff like that. And I showed you some snares in a previous video. I'll be showing you more on it. But uh, I, I think I'm gonna plan a strategy that uh, hopefully I'll get it out in the next couple of days early for next week because I still got to do that other beaver dam too and today I got to finish up my otter and no oh, oh. doing the wood <laughs> and then I got to uh, hopefully be skinning a wolf tonight uh, but I'm going to work on those snares and what I'm going to do with the snares is uh, a strategy I saw this guy use where if you got a creek and a hill you set the snares at the top of the like the top of the hill like within you know like a couple of yards of your bait and then your baits your bait is the lure actually and the trail is your your bait if that makes sense you know the trail is the bait uh, that, that's how the you know remember Ted Nugent said that one time with deer hunting goes the trail is the bait you know what I mean like uh, and, and th th that's true it's true and just so you know, day for the day, I saw a creed. Actually traveling kind of late today, just got the tongs with me. Uh, learned something interesting about my otter yesterday. Uh, he was an old otter. His teeth were ground down. He was uh, pretty, uh, he was pretty old. It's hard to kind of date how old those things are, but yeah. So I'm pretty excited for my new strategy, but it is very cold and I have my otter in the basement thawing out a hundred percent so hopefully I'll be able to flesh them in one go without them completely freezing up on me uh, and I'm going to do that as soon as I get back but what I'm going to do is as I get around the corner here is I am going to I've already kind of safety checked my if you're going to ask what it is this I guess it'll be about a decade old now when I first moved back up here I wanted one of everything which I still do and I'm still working on that, but I'm too poor to do it. But one of the things I wanted was a crossbow. Uh, I never owned a crossbow before until this is the only one I've ever owned. And I've only shot them a handful of other ones a handful of times. So what I did was I researched what was the biggest, baddest crossbow in the world at the time. Behold, the Excalibur 225 pound pull, uh, 350 feet per second, three and a half pound trigger, six and a half pound uh, uh, beast, <laughs> the matador. I don't know what to call this thing. Uh, and I haven't shot anything with it yet. And uh, hopefully, hopefully someday I do, but but I bought it and I, uh, you know, I, I don't even think I got 200 shots off. Well, no, I probably got more like 500 shots off of this, but I just never really used it. I'm more of a, a bow guy. I'm gonna get down here on some leveler ground. I'm using a, uh, I don't know what bolt, I think this is a Carbon Express and a uh, Excalibur Exact broadhead with some cobwebs on it. So what I'm gonna do is put this down. I'm gonna load this guy. I won't load him right in the sun so you guys can see how it's done. I got my string cocker. I've got the scopes caps on it. I bought the scopes as an aftermarket thing. Now pretty much all crossbows come with scopes and everything like that. I'm gonna get this all set up. Oh geez, this thing ever dirty. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'll pause the video here and then I'll show you how I do it. <laughs> 